Hi there, my name is Cole, and in today's video we're going to be looking at the new Speed Champion sets that have been uh, revealed on the LEGO website, among other places on the internet. Now, I usually, I used to make a lot of videos like this where I would look at the new sets. I stopped this because I wanted the channel to be super consistent with just videos of my own creations, but recently I have not had that many of my own creations built. Well, I've had some, but they I build them rather slowly these days, and so I figure let's throw in a new video so I can kind of yap about these new models, you know, because it's fun. So we're kind of stealing the Jang Bricks video format here, as you can see, um, where I can, you can see my screen, but I think this is just a really good way of doing it, so I'm going to steal his, uh, his way of doing it. Anyway, uh, let's start off with this set, which is the Mercedes AMG G63 and the Mercedes AMG SL63. Now, I'm just going to say it outright for all the cars, People hate on Speed Champions way too much. I think if you see interviews with Speed Champions designers, I'll link, I think there's one in particular that I'll link to, they are both pretty reasonably, reasonably appropriately proud of what they make. And also, they're not the biggest car nerds like a lot of people who complain about Speed Champions are. Am I going to say every Speed Champion set is perfect? No. But considering the people who are making these, their interest in the subject, in the source material, and the constraints that they have to work with from LEGO. I'm not quite sure what those are, but I would imagine there are quite a few. I think they do a pretty good job. Um, now, immediately after that, I'm going to say that this SL doesn't look very good. Now, that's kind of just a thing on my part, because I don't think the real SL looks very good. If we bring it up here, um, let me find it. Here's a, no wait, there's so many renders of uh, what people imagine it will look like here. There we go. Uh, that's an extremely small picture. Let me find the car and driver. There we go. That's the real thing. I think it looks fine. It doesn't look especially remarkable in my opinion. I'd like, yeah, whatever. Um, so the Lego set, well, I wouldn't be too hyped about the Lego set already. Now they have gone the printed route with headlights and taillights. And this is, I can't remember if there's another speed champion set I'm thinking of where if you remove all the stickers, it would just be impossible to tell what it is, or prints in this case, but in the, if you if you did remove all the prints on this, it would be rather difficult to tell what it is in my opinion. Obviously it kind of has an SL shape, but the headlights on these printed slope tile thing, curved slope wedges, whatever they're called, are, well I appreciate that they're printed very much, um, I just, I don't, think they, I don't think they look that good. I'm not saying that I could come up with something better necessarily, but some we can get some wedge plates in there. I feel like you could, you could get something that works a little bit better. The whole thing just looks extremely flat, especially if you look at the side view of it. It just it's just kind of a I'm, okay. I'm good. I was gonna say it's a boring design, but the front is actually quite nice. Uh, it, the headlights don't look very good from the front, in my opinion. But you have the vents in the sides. I love the way the grill is done. Super like excellent job at this has been used in a lot of custom models before this up and down or Well, you get the up and down pattern by using round plates um, And that looks really sick. So good job on that the rear. I'm not liking well Here's the thing. I don't I don't like these giant round plates for the rear But they do look like relatively like the real SL here. Let me get a picture of that um, Okay, they definitely it's definitely not that round that my phone is making noises um it's definitely not that round in real life, but it's close and so it works. Again, I'm not a huge fan of just printing big details like this, but hey, it allows for like the cool uh, AMG badge and stuff. So you know what? It, maybe we'll, I think it, it's okay. Um, but going down, I love the diffuser here, especially these exhausts. There's definitely something interesting going on under here. Um, and so I'm excited to see how that works. And then the interior also looks pretty sick. I can't see it that well from here. Actually, I think we have a top-down picture, don't we? We do. Um, let's see if we can get a closer look at that. We do have an interior. You can see some some seats in there and stuff. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, oh, we also have the engine, which I think is super sick, um, with like the little AMG engine cover plaque thingy on it. Uh, I think that's, that looks really good. Um, so now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about the actual cool car in the set in my opinion which is the g63 now i as someone who lives in southern california see these rather frequently and although they definitely have something of a obnoxious reputation i think it's really sick to have a lego one i do like these trucks a lot 
Now, the first impression that I have with this thing is that it looks colossal. In this image, you can see it appears to be the height of two of these SLs stacked on top of each other, or even more so. Now, one thing that my buddy uh, Envy Carmox Nard pointed out is that the ground clearance on this thing appears to be horrible, which is a little bit disappointing, but going off of how LEGO sets that have bad ground clearance like this have been assembled in the past, I think modification should be not too hard to uh, remove some of that. And this is not even because I'm going to be off-roading it. Well, maybe I will. Um, it just doesn't look right being that low because you all this space above the wheels. The fenders are extremely cool. Um, using tiles or something along the lines of tiles. Exhaust again looks really good. Let's see if we can get a picture, better picture of that. Uh, wait for it. Okay, I guess this picture works. Exhaust looks good. Uh, I think that's metallic silver pieces. I think I think it's a dark bluish gray stripe on the side. Really sick again. Um, really good stuff here. The front is it looks perfect honestly. The we have the new like teacup saucer elements for the grill. The headlights are stickers, which is a bit disappointing because I think these are definitely headlight headlights that could be represented with those same saucer pieces. But this works fine. Bumper looks incredible. You have these lights in the front uh, fenders technically on the hood, which are a really cool detail. I'm really glad those are on there. The hood definitely looks too sloped. They use these new, um, what are these called? Wedge, multiple wedge slopes, which are very cool pieces. But the hood being this big and sloped, it is definitely big and sloped on the real thing, but it, it looks like an armored truck here, which is, you know, the new wagon's kind of an armored truck. Well, not necessarily armored, but it's definitely a truck. It works. Um, modification should not be too hard. I really like the, the canopy up here, the upper part of the the part where the minifigures sit. We have the new dark transparent black, I guess, windscreens all around. Bluish, I think it looks good. The wedge plates to make the front one wider, which is nice. These windows are angled, again, super nice. We appear to have a layer of panels up here, which is a really nice detail. Um, these seats on the inside, well, actually, let's go around to the back of the canopy first. Can we see? This looks perfect. Obviously, it's a lot of stickers, taillights on this badge and stuff. Um, you can see the angled windows here, very sick. There appears to be a large gap around the rear window here, which is a bit disappointing, but it should be okay. You can see the new slopes from the last wave of Speed Champions that work here, very nice. Uh, this is not a very hard thing to replicate the spare tire carrier, but it looks great. Is this light bluish gray metallic silver behind there? If it is, that, that's a pretty cool detail. Uh, where is the, the, we have a picture of the interior, I think we have a picture of the interior here somewhere. Oh, there we go, you can kind of see it here. We're using the city like truck seats, which is fine, but not, I'm not, I don't think it's that great. Um, yeah, I would have appreciated a little bit more seat detail because those are just super prefab looking. Again, we have the AMG engine plaque, which is super sick. And you have storage area in the back. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't appear that the rear opens because that would be cool considering the size of this thing. So yeah, not perfect, but it looks like it's gonna be a really sick model, infinitely better than the Urus or I-Pace from previous sets. I will mention the SL uses the, this like boat windscreen. I've only ever seen it used as before. Okay, maybe it's used on cars, but I just know it as a boat windscreen. Um, and I'm curious if slapping on a the other windscreen piece from Speed Champions that could function as a convertible one look better. This one's extremely low. So I'm wondering if that'll improve the look a little bit. Also, one of the minifigures has this AMG badge torso, which is maybe my favorite part of the whole set. That's just such a cool detail to have on a minifigure torso. All right. I think that's all I have to say about the, the Mercedes. Uh, I will say the box art has this very Miami look to it. I think that's kind of cool because these cars definitely fit that kind of vibe uh, you can see here on the box. But yeah, either way, cool to see some Mercedes. Probably would have preferred something a little bit more classic maybe over the SL, but you know, it works. Um, it's a good combination. Moving on, we have, uh, let's go to the Lambo next. The Lamborghini V12 Vision GT, which is a, a super aggressive car. I assume it only exists as like a model in real life and it just, it's only in the Gran Turismo video game, which I have not played. And a lot of people are hating on this one saying it looks bad. I think it looks, I think it's pretty good. I, the, the real car is quite a, a wacky looking automobile, you might put it. Um, I, don't, I don't hate the way it looks. I think it looks fine, but I don't really care about cars that look this extreme. Now, okay, let's look at the model here. Obviously, it's an olive green, which is a super cool color for a Speed Champions car, and I'm just really happy you got a bunch of parts in that color um, so we can make some, some custom models with all that. 
Now around the front, we have the, the Y-shaped headlights. I feel like this works pretty well down here where we have the this part in blue with the olive printing, and this part in blue with the olive printing to get the bottom, this part of the Y. Uh, I guess we could move the sticker down when we get that connected effect a little bit more. Now the real car has headlights that are kind of tinted blue, and so that's what they're going for. It appears to be either medium majeure or teal colored parts here. But I feel like this just should have been white because I feel like the teal or medium majeure and olive just doesn't work so well. The moving back, the rest of this front though looks quite nicely shaped. I do like quite a bit. We have this uh, newish windscreen piece for the canopy, and I think that looks incredible. Even if it's not super accurate, it just it looks really sick on here, and so I'm very happy with how they've done that. The fenders, let's look at the real thing real quick. Because the real thing has fenders. Okay, here's the real thing. Real thing is is wildly extreme. But yeah, the real thing does not have any like stripes on the fenders. You can also see the blue headlights here. Real thing does not. This picture is backwards, isn't it? There we go. The real thing appears to have stripes in the fenders. Uh, the Lego or does not have stripes in the fenders, I should say. The Lego one uh, does have stripes in the fenders. And this is a. I would been really excited if we got dark tan fenders. Although I think we might have one of the fender variations in. Actually, this isn't dark tan, so never mind. I would have really appreciated all of the fenders, um, but for some reason we have black fenders with a printed olive stripe on them. I have no idea why this is because I would imagine that making, considering how many new olive parts we have, I would imagine that printing an olive mudguard is the way to go. I does I suppose that means that this little bit back here of the mudguard would be exposed in olive, but I would have preferred that. Um, obviously, there's no like olive part here, but. Yeah, anyway, not a, not a huge deal, but I would have, would have liked that. This looks really cool in the middle. Um, even if it, is it realistic? Let's check the real one again. It works fine, I guess. The real one looks somewhat like that. Okay, real one has this, this angle, it almost reminds me of, uh, what is it? Not the Countach, something has an angle, like another like 70s concept car. Anyway, uh, that doesn't translate so well here because it's only stickers. Um, so like I said, this doesn't maybe look super realistic, but it is a really cool looking design going on here in the center. Uh, this all looks really good back here. Again, maybe not perfectly realistic. The real thing is incredibly sharp for Lego. Technically, it shouldn't even be a curved slope. It should just be a plain old slope, but there's no piece that exists like that. So yeah, of course, it has to be a curved slope, so that's fine. Um, this all looks good. This rear wing actually looks really sick, but all these crazy angles going on. Gran Turismo sticker, which I guess this means that Lego has collaborated with both Gran Turismo and Forza at this point, which is kind of funny to think about. The side view, uh, I think this thing is it's raked forward ever so slightly, it would appear. This big Technic brick sticking out here, but I don't think it's going to be incredibly obvious. Uh, several people have pointed out we have, well, it appears we have orange dual molded wheels under that, so that's cool. Is it orange or gold? Do we, the real one have any? The real one appears to be gold, I'm thinking. Um, that might be gold, might be orange. I'm kind of colorblind when it comes to those kind of colors, so I can't tell. Um, but either way, while these are nice prints, people were saying it would be nice, and I agree, that it would be nice if we got some alternate wheel designs at this point, because we still only have two wheel designs after what? I don't know, I, I can't remember how long eight wides have been around for. Um, but we used to have a lot of cool wheel cover designs, so some new ones would be very nice. Um, let's see. What's the back look like? I have not actually seen it. See, top view looks super sick. A lot of stickers going on here. I think if we take off or we skip a lot of these stickers, it's actually gonna look a lot cooler or a lot cleaner. Um, but this is good. Lego has improved a lot of these wacky concept car ones considering how bad the Valkyrie AMR Pro looked. Um, the Solus and this look, oh my gosh. Okay, this is this is good. We have, I mean, sticker taillights. No, but we have a, I think this is a flag here. More flags here. We got the cleavers in the sides and these like, uh, minifigure weapon hand connector pieces down here. That is incredibly sick. Do you have any more angles of that? No? That's okay. That's going to be really cool to see. That looks incredibly good. Uh, how does that compare to the real thing? Okay, real thing. Real thing I feel like doesn't, doesn't look that crazy. The real one, okay, it's a lot cleaner up here, I will say, than on the Lego one, but that's kind of obvious. It's Lego. Uh, it also looks cleaner back here, but I, I gotta say, I, I like the way this, is, this looks. It's extreme, but it, it works very nicely. I guess these red brackets, does it represent taillights in any form? I don't know, I don't see any red there on the real thing. 
another backwards picture for whatever reason, but yeah, I don't see any, I guess it's, okay, there's a tiny tail light on the edge, you can see it here, so it's on these brackets, I feel like the bracket could have just been black, but that's not a big deal. All right, I'm, I'm, after seeing the rear of that one, I, which I hadn't seen before, I'm, I'm kind of hyped for this one. This looks, this is looking pretty sick. Obviously, you know, not perfect. Doesn't scream Vision GT the first thing I see. Okay, well, it's kind of obviously that car if you know what it is, but if you, if, I, if somebody built that a different color, no stickers, it would definitely, you know, a little, it can take a little while to figure out what it was based off of. But again, not a bad car at all. Next up, we have the third set, the Aston Martin safety car. That's kind of weird, just a safety car it doesn't say, uh, I was going to say Vulcan, Vantage safety car, and the AMR23 F1 car. Now, people have been saying that this is a reskin of the McLaren F1 car, so actually let me compare them because I didn't look that closely at the McLaren F1 car set. Um, hold on, I'll get a new tab up. Wait for it, almost there. Mm, there we go. So how similar are these? Uh, they would appear to be, I mean, they're definitely, they're definitely not identical, which is good, um, but they're, they're, they're quite similar. And I, I mean, that's not a complaint at all. They're extremely similar cars in real life. In fact, in real life, they might as well be all the same car. Or in, in Lego form, they might as well be all the same car because I can't tell the difference in real life. Um, but it looks great. The McLaren is a great looking set. The Mercedes before it was also a very good looking set. And this also looks incredibly good. This is probably the most realistic out of all the, uh, modern or all this wave of speed champions i would argue uh stickers again actually look really good on this one new wheel cover prints yeah good job good job on this one i don't mind what else to say because it's quite similar to mclaren um yeah that's, that's good stuff the vantage again also also technically a reskin well not, okay not technically it's not exactly a reskin of um this set wait for it there it is because okay there's the, the valkyrie you can see on like weird i'm just gonna say skeletal not a skeletal car but on crazy cars like this lego has improved vastly um so that's very cool to see um but yes on the vantage multiple people were pointing out to me not multiple a few people were pointing out to me that this design was really good for the front which i would agree with and they kind of it's not we have a better picture of the front no we don't uh this doesn't look as good and that's true but this is supposed to be a different vantage front so i think this works they, I think, are these supposed to be the same headlight design? Because if so, it definitely looks a lot better on the uh, the set here. Now, this hood, again, this is a different Vantage design, and the, this this Vantage has a particularly, like, bulging hood, so I think this roof piece works well here. I'm not sure why these aren't tiles, because it would make this look a lot cleaner right here. You could use the wedge, the facet tile, I believe it is called, and you could put a tile, one-by-one one tile here in the gap. That would work really nicely. Um, the sides, back here, all this... It's a bit angular because the Vantage is a very swoopy looking car. This is a lot of angle, angled parts going on back here, um, but it looks fine. Uh, around the back though is where it's like, okay, this is cool. Uh, same design, almost identical, I think, to the, um, this, wait, let's, let's compare it. Okay, not almost identical. It's, it's obviously the diffuser and stuff is different, but the really cool taillight design has returned, which is excellent. Um, exhaust and stuff look good, binoculars, the wing. Actually, I meant to point out the uh, canards on the front of the Vantage, which is a really cool little detail. So good job, Lego, on that one. Uh, several people have pointed out that the car can get away with being just this green color, but the actual Vantage should very much have been dark turquoise or dark green, and I agree with that. Um, I'm not really sure why. I mean, I guess they want to make the match, but dark turquoise would have been work, worked fine and would have been extremely cool, but I have no idea why that is. It, it could be infinite reasons for what it is. I mean, perhaps Aston Martin didn't approve of that, or they just thought this would be closer, or if somebody thought this would be closer, or they just wanted to put out more green parts, or whatever. Um, several people have also pointed out that we kind of got a, a Lewis Hamilton look like in the Mercedes F1 car set. This, okay, this doesn't look like Lando Norris necessarily in the McLaren, but it, it, it could be like, you could just say, oh, that's supposed to be Lando Norris, and like, I would believe you, or like, maybe I wouldn't believe you. <laughs> Either way, it could be Lando Norris. Um, and while I appreciate having a female F1 driver, in the set because that's like weird that doesn't exist in real life at this point um or it hasn't it's, that's not a thing at the moment uh, uh, people were saying in alonzo minifigure or something that looked vaguely like alonzo would have been really cool so yeah not a big deal again you can obviously use this uh, torso and legs and just put on a head and stuff that looks like alonzo but you know would have been a nice little detail but again really good sets great to see this color in great to see more parts in this color so that we can build some more green cars because this is definitely not 
a common color for building speed champions in. I think that's it for my opinions on the new LEGO Speed Champion sets. So I hope you enjoyed hearing me yap for about 20 minutes at this point, I think. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I probably won't be reviewing these because, well, I don't make like this kind of video that often. I basically never make reviews, so I don't think we'll be doing that. Um, but, and so that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you may return for the next video, um, but if not, have a good day, I guess. Yeah.